there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries. Let's hit the road. So the weather today is absolutely fantastic. We've got clear blue skies, light winds, it's lovely and warm, so I'm gonna ride down to Hailing Island. Well, here I am down on Hailing Island. It's taken me 45 minutes to cycle the 20 kilometers down here. It's on my normal, uh, normal route. Um, yeah, it's a very nice ride. It's mostly downhill, um, but uh, very nice. Even though it was only a fairly short ride down here, I thought I'd treat myself to a nice little refreshment stop before cycling home. The route back was essentially the reverse of the route that got me down here, so by the time I got home I'd ridden 42 kilometres and I felt fairly good. If this good weather holds tomorrow, I think I'll go out and do something slightly more challenging. So here I am out on day two uh, for a second ride. Uh, as you can probably see the weather is absolutely fantastic again. Yesterday I rode down to Hailing Island and that was 40 kilometres, although I did have a fairly longish refreshment stop in the middle. Um, I pushed that ride quite hard so my legs are a little bit tired um, and today I'm going to do a slightly longer ride, say 50-55 kilometres, uh, but I'll take that relatively easy if I can um, because the terrain is going to be a lot hillier than the ride yesterday. Maybe I should start with an ice cream. So today's route is going to take us through the village of Denmead, out to a place called Wickham, uh, and then from there we'll go almost to another little village called Bishop's Waltham, and we'll do the first of the big climbs up uh, Beacon Hill to the top of Wheelie Down, and then um, we'll head up uh, Old Winchester Hill uh, to the highest point, or uh, one of the highest points in Hampshire actually. Uh, and from there, then it's pretty much downhill all the way home. So the route's going to be about 50, 55 kilometers. And if I'm feeling energetic, I might put a few extra K on the end as well. Who knows? I'm crazy like that. So at the moment, I'm riding through the ancient forest of Beer and that's spelled B-E-R-E -E. and um, it's not actually anything to do with the beer that you drink but uh, it's an old word for bears as in like you know bears that shit in the woods uh, and it's called that because about three four hundred years ago there were actually wild bears living in this wood uh, in the heart of Hampshire very hard to believe but uh, absolutely true just entering the village of Wickham now uh, we're 17 and a half kilometers done in about 40 minutes or so so that's not bad going So unlike yesterday's ride, where I really pushed it and my heart rate got up to 80-90% uh, of my maximum, today I'm going to take it nice and easy if I can. So 
I'm gonna try and focus on cadence at about 90 revs per minute and try and keep my heart rate between 70 and 80 percent of my max. So this is precisely one of those times in question where I'm on a, a climb that's about a kilometre and a half long, it's 3% and uh, I'm very tempted to, uh, to just give it everything so I've got to really hold back and just take it easy. I was chatting to one of my cycling chums day before yesterday about the Isle of Wight Randonnée uh, and he said something that uh, made me really think. Um, he said uh, that we only have like two months to go before we're going to be riding around the island uh, and I thought about it and he was absolutely right. Um, it's surprising how fast time kind of creeps up on you. Last time I looked I had about 17 weeks so that was obviously about nine weeks ago. So I've got eight weeks before the Isle of Wight Randonnée itself, so I've got to uh, really start training a bit harder, I think. Uh, and that's what today's all about, really. Uh, the, the Isle of Wight's going to be 110 kilometres round, uh, and it's quite hilly. So, uh, yeah, today I'm just out to see if I can do 50, 55 kilometres on a reasonably hilly course and just build my distance up. So I'm on the back lanes now um, and these are actually a little bit tough. They're like four, five percent and they go on for ages but you don't really realise it because uh, they're such small lanes. So it's, uh, I'm down in my lowest gear and I'm just trying to, to pace myself so that I keep my heart rate down to about 70, 80 percent. It's not easy, believe you me. So just at the start of the first of the two major climbs today so this is uh, Beacon Hill it's about 2 k's uh, with an average gradient of maybe five six percent so I'm just going to tick away and really try not to uh, to gun it up here it's not easy got another big hill after this as well about another 700 meters to go before the top it's very very hard to keep my heart rate down made it to the top of Beacon Hill in one piece uh, it was a little bit of an effort to keep my heart rate below 80%. I think uh, at one point it got, got up to about 81, 82%, but uh, still within manageable limits. Um, uh, so feeling pretty good. Uh, nice bit of downhill now um, from the top of Wheelie down to the, the main road and then I'll start climbing up Old Winchester Hill. So uh, that's quite a toughie.
that's the main climb of the day done. Um, I found that a little bit tough. Uh, the last time I rode up was back in October, so that was uh, four or five months ago or so, and it was a lot easier. But then I had just come back from Mallorca and I was feeling pretty fit. Uh, today, not so fit. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do before the Isle of Wight randonnée. Um, and, and I felt quite tired in my, uh, in my legs more than anything else. I think my cardiovascular system's not too bad, but I just need to build my strength up. And that basically means doing more hills. So I'm riding along this ridge today. Um, as you can see, the weather is absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I believe it's one of the highest points in Hampshire. Uh, so I'm very, very lucky to have this on my doorstep. I'm less than eight kilometers from my front door. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. Now that I'm home and showered and relaxed, I've got an opportunity to reflect on today's ride with a bit more lucidity. All in all, I think I rather enjoyed it, although I have to admit I did find it quite hard. First of all, I didn't have enough strength in my legs to do the hills today. Um, they were pretty tough. Uh, and secondly, my uh, cycling shorts weren't uh, that comfortable at all, really. Um, long story short, they were starting to rub which is a bit strange because they're not new shorts. I've had them a while uh, and uh, they've never had that problem before. So that's something I'm gonna to have to investigate. I suspect it's something to do with my position on the bike. The, the ride itself was actually quite a little bit of an eye opener. Um, like I said, uh, I've got eight weeks before I do the Isle of Wight randonnée uh, and today's ride was 53 kilometers in all. Uh, and the Isle of Wight randonnée is going to be about 110k with uh, probably twice the amount of climbing as well. So it's, it's going to be a lot tougher than today. So I clearly have a lot more work to do. But that said, I do have a fair bit of time to do the work and get fit. But I really will have to keep an eye on the calendar because time does have a very strange way of just running away with you and before you know it, you're, you have to get on the bike and have to do that ride. So are you training for a particular cycling event? If you are, please tell me all about it in the comments below. If you found this film useful, please like and share. And if you'd like to get the most out of your cycling, please consider subscribing for my regular weekly uploads. Thanks for watching.